Hello everyone, today we are here with a very big friend and our ambassador Peter Schneider. Hey Fabulous. We are, we are really happy that Peter come from Germany to visit us on our factory. We are really happy that you are here because every year we, we, we are with you in the boot show. But uh, I'm really happy that you are to visit us uh, today. Yeah, thank you very much for having me here. It was uh, perfect this time. I was in Italy, and uh, yeah, I've made this uh, small trip, uh, side trip, uh, to visit you, to visit the factory, the office, and uh, where all this innovative material is created. And I'm very impressed uh, with what I see here. So I'm almost uh, speechless, as you can see. Yeah, it's a great. Uh, Wow. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you too. I, I, I don't remember now because it's a very long, many years that we know you, but I don't remember the first time when I see you. I think well, so. I, re I remember exactly because I was looking, I was, uh, I was not living in French Polynesia anymore, but I was looking for a new camera housing. Because oh. I want to switch to 4K. And ah, yes. The first so time, the first time, time the new 4K. I was dropping by at the boot show in Düsseldorf and I saw the materials and I was thinking yes and no. Because I was a little bit hesitant because of uh, the remote controls. Before yeah. I was working more with the manuals because I was living in a very remote area and I didn't really want to rely on this technical. Uh, uh, remote controls and uh, yeah, but I stuff. think so. But then, but then, you know, like uh, then I started to buy a very, 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 very expensive setup. Yeah. It was the Sony Alpha. Uh, what was it called? The FS seven hundred, which was announced four K ready. Yeah. It was never recording four K internally. And I had like a, a TV for housing, which is was. But for convincing you, I think it's a little more easy because uh, you are video maker and video maker, you are. You know that there are electronic controls so really, you know, and uh, you know that all, all uh, work fine because a lot of uh, uh, photographers that you don't know the housing is electronic normally is, is a little more uh, right, a little more distant with the housing is electronic, but the video maker normally you have a little more confidence because. There are a lot of yes. cameras that you normally have the electronic control, and uh, for convincing you, when we explain the audio, you remember that you are a little bit more. Yeah, but because because I was living for ten years in a very remote area, with uh, on an atoll in French Polynesia, and uh, with very salty air and uh, humid air, so and electronics were always a weak part. But when I have seen your product, everything is sealed. So there's no chance that uh, that corrosion can happen to the most essential parts. And this was uh, convincing me. Uh, anyway, I was not so happy with my uh, Amtivico housing and the FS700. So I was thinking, you know what, I give it a chance. And also what was very convincing to me is like changing camera. I don't have to change the housing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was one point because you know you pay like two, three, four thousand euros. There's no, there's no open end huh, for the housing. But if you have to change after a year because you change the camera, this is a big pain. And then try to sell your housing or your camera, yeah. which is a year or two years old. Everybody nowadays wants to have the new product first. So we cannot even sell it. You put it in the shelf, in the shelf, in the shelf, and, 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 and the shelf is full. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you have now, because I remember, it, you, I don't know, Panasonic, Sony, now we have the both. That's true. I mean, I started, I, I was a Sony guy. I was filming with Sony cameras since 2000, actually. And I was always very happy with the Sony cameras. And uh, I bought uh, the, the, the Leo V. Uh, for the Sony Alpha 7 R2 actually, oh. because it was a you know recording 4K internally, and I was quite quite happy. And then I switched to Panasonic for the main reason for me was it was recording or is recording in 50p. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can slow down. A lot of people in need of 50p. We must buy also Panasonic G5. Yes. Yes. So therefore, I switched to, to to Panasonic, and I didn't have to change the housing. Yeah, that's, a great, yeah. that's a great stuff. So, yeah. but also another. Also, the main function when you change the camera, no, the yes. main function I said because yes. the aperture is very easy, you know, oh. to change. The main things to change, like its aperture. If you don't, as a videographer, you you don't 
to change the shutter speed, yeah. depending on the frame rate, uh, you are 50 or 100 frames. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, you, you stay like that, right? So and, uh, you adjust the iris. And yeah. maybe the ISO, if you go deeper and you have less yeah. light, depends on if you're using lights or not. Sometimes I'm also uh, diving and swimming with whales or with orcas in Norway, and I'm, I don't have lights at this moment. So I need a higher ISO. Yeah. ISO. And uh, yeah, or like this is in French Polynesia. I can wow. see there are some lights. Yeah, yeah. This is, so your, this your, is your, 15, this is, uh, this this is your channel. I'm working on. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you see the blue behind and a little bit illuminated uh, fishes. Fishes in front there. I use light, of course, on the reef. But when you are snorkeling, spinning with humpback whales or with orcas, you don't have lights. Yes, yeah, so we just have a. I a want all of that to all our followers to to put a like on uh, underwater camp. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <there's laughs> and a, you can see all the video of Peter. Uh, thanks, thanks, is, is your your passion for the for the video is a long time? Where do you start? Yeah, in 2000 actually, when I was moving from Germany, I'm yeah. original German. I'm not looking like I know, but I am. <laughs> and uh, I was moving to French Polynesia, and I started. Uh, making underwater films. I was following divers at this time, wow. it was a good business because uh, all these little, you know, uh, action camps were not existent at this time. Yeah, so yeah. I was uh, following the people with my video camera and was editing in the head, camera out of the water, out of the housing, attached to the TV screen, put the music on a CD player and selling it immediately to the, to the people. So I started. It's, it's more and more difficult. More complicated now. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, nowadays it's taking more time actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you have to download it and you start editing. You edit totally different. Yeah, different. yeah, yeah. yeah. With, the, with the technology, of course, also the quality was was going up. Not only picture wise, but also with the editing. So yeah, this is uh, it's 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 a progress. So I started in two thousand. That's now twenty years, I think. Wow. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I switched, that I gave you guys a chance wow. to convince me. Yeah, yeah. Because I really like it, it's Easy Dive, the name is uh, standing for what it is. It's easy to dive with, it's easy to use. Yeah. So, and also, you don't have to say goodbye to your housing if you change your camera, necessarily. Of course, you don't get, you cannot put every camera in size, so you yeah. have like a different size as well. The, the, the Leo thing. Yeah, for, for yeah, example, the now there is a new Sony, new Panasonic, and you can continue to yeah. update your housing. Yeah, now there is the new Sony F7 S3. Uh, this week uh, it starts to, to sell, and the next week uh, we think to have ready the new software and new base plate for the F7 S3. Well, this one will yeah. probably be my next camera, and then uh, yeah. the good thing is like for the, I don't know. The software upgrade, yeah, yeah. you and the, ah, the, the new base, model, the new function. The base is around three hundred something euros only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This plate about three. Uh, the with the ID is a three hundred nineteen euro. I think about yeah. including the base plate, the cable, and the software update. But uh, you know, it's very easy to update also, no? Because we send an email, yeah. you download, you it's very fast. Oh, this yeah, you just put good. on a USB stick, you yeah. attach it. To the port, and then it's doing well, everything on the But for us, it's very important. I also know you because your collaboration is very fantastic for us because you you, you give to us uh, uh, your feedback, your suggest, uh, and also your help. Because I remember in the in the boot show, you try to uh, realize the short, the funny video for uh, the bag, for the diving bag. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I, I like to work with people I have a connection with. Yeah, it's, I don't like to work with people I'm not feeling good with. For me, it's also very important to have partners, not only that I can rely on them, but they are there when I need them, and I consider them in the end, I, I mean, I consider you guys friends, yeah, because you're always there if I need you. For us. So immediately, if I have like a little, little hiccup with my, oh, what is this and what are that, there's something blinking, and, uh, you give a, you you solve it. Yeah. You solve it on the internet via Skype, via telephone call, depends on. And everywhere in the world, it's working right now. So 
Until now, I've never had an issue. Since I switched in 2016 to, to EasyDive, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And uh, as I said, for me, it's also important to work me with too. people. Also, my guys, uh, every stuff yeah. EasyDive, uh, love Peter. Before. So therefore, yeah, the, yeah. the videos we made yeah, with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the bags and stuff, I just like have sometimes have some stupid ideas, and I'm happy. We can realize them together. Yeah, I'm really happy to come in Italy because uh, it's a long time that I've been here. Okay, Peter, come to me, he does, no, but now we have finished our also showroom. We have finished to um, update also the, the workstation. Uh, but uh, and we, I am really happy because now we can also show you, explain all our new light uh, revolution. And uh, we, we hope that you can try. I'm very, I'm very impressed by, by the factory, which is more a manufactory. I mean, yeah. it's like a small structure, but everything is really, really professional and well thought through. Wow. It starts from like the storage behind the the, the <laughs> bathroom there, which you don't see the the bubble background, and the showroom is beautiful. The conference room is beautiful. Sex. The office, it's really everything is. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Is, you know, it's our is our passion, is our job, and uh, we have now we, we, we you know it's twenty years that we sold only directly. We know all our customers from twenty years, yeah. and uh, for us it's very important. Same you with the contact with the customer. A lot of also this housing is uh, very nice and very very completely. Completely because uh, we have a, a, a little more suggest from the customer. No, any customer give us uh, a little question or a little detail, a little suggest, and we can update. We can remember when we realize a new product. Oh, this guy uh, suggests us. I have to say something. There is no such thing as a perfect underwater housing. Mm -hmm. Even not the easy dive is not perfect. But you guys try to make it perfect. Yeah, yeah. And that's the most important thing. There's all the housings I used, they had like little things here and there which I would, you know, maybe make differently. And uh, the good thing is that you guys have the open ears and you, yeah. you know, me, you, me, you, are, you, you know, value our, our, our experience and our feedback. Yeah. And it's not taken as a criticism. It's uh, sometimes, you know, with other manufacturers, it's like, Okay, no, this guy, so this is okay, so it must be okay for you. Are you professional? So we're not taking you seriously. Yeah. And then it's all fun to deal yeah. with. Yeah, me too. I try. I don't want to sell the housing directly because I, the question is, when I have a customer, I try to understand what needs this customer. Is a free diver, what camera you want to use, is a professional. And, and we try to give our best to just, you know, for him because uh, if he is, is happy to have buy my housing, uh, uh, for me it's okay. But if I sell one housing that is not okay for you, it's not good also for us, no? And this is very important because uh, normally when he asks me, but it's better your housing, your housing or is better than carrying your housing? It depends. It depends because if you okay. need of every control because you need to, I don't know, double exposition or you need to, for example, I have a lot of customers that use an icon for the, the in competition and they suggest, okay, this is housing with an icon for the competition of photography. It's not the top, it's more better to buy one dedicated housing mechanical because with the competition you must go to, to in the menu to cut the image, to delete the old image. Right. And not with every camera you can have all the function. All depends what the customer need. That uh, we have more advantage of the dedicated housing because if in the future you try to change in the same housing, you, you want to put Nikon or the new model of Nikon or the full frame and the crop. Uh, probably in the same housing you can have um, you can put more more camera, more different brand of camera, right. and more different size, but. Uh, Depends what the customer need, uh, and uh, not all the time my housing is the best housing. Depends. But yes, uh, I also like his honesty. You know, it's because there is no perfect thing. It's just like you have to know what you need and what is matching your needs actually. And this is uh, also 
you have to know your strong points, but you also have to know your weak points yeah, somehow. Yeah. And if you don't admit that you have weak points, I think you have a lot of weak points. So I, I really appreciate this. And yeah, the and you were you were starting to talk about the lights. Yeah. And uh, it's very difficult with uh, when sometimes I was, I'm using a red filter on my on my lens. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember. And then I'm using lights, and then you of course everything's getting really, really, really. With a filter. This is uh, with a filter, but I guess in the post production I would use ah, red a little bit yeah. because I also use lights here, as you can see. And I just heard that now with the new app and your new programming of the lights, you can change the color temperature. Yeah. So some people put filters. I also use, you know, I use the revolution, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the big one here. Yeah, yeah. And but the big one is have a, a, I had the yeah. filters and I was just putting some gel. I remember, remember, because it's more high, high, high yes. temperature. Right? So then I could use my red filter on the lens, and was about to, you know, it was just like that. If you can adjust the color temperature, that's just perfect. Yeah, because this you can decide. You have three positions. Well, you remember one, yeah. two, three, and yes. if you three position, you can have the max power, or you can decide the power. But also you can select it what temperature you want in the sun position. You can go underwater, you can have the same light, the same powerful, but 3500 or 4500 or 5600. And you can change, you change the position and you change the temperature to color and you can uh, test underwater what temperature color is better for you. This is the and position. you don't use the strength of the light when using a filter. Yeah. Because if you use a filter, you at least uh, you lose one or two. Yeah, minutes. stop a little yeah. more. No, yeah. the light, you know, you need to have more powerful that you can. But uh, that you can do. But uh, if you put uh, the external filter, you have a little more. Yeah. Uh, not the same powerful because uh, the filter in front uh, stop a little more the, the light. That's right. So I really like this. This is a very very innovative uh, thing that you can change the color temperature on the light. And then you can use a but you know, red filter you, on the camera. You know, no? Every time when we talk on yeah. Skype, uh, what is the idea you have? We continue to update. We don't stop. We continue to update. Yeah. To to uh, we have also two two three project now to finish. But uh, I cannot uh, explain now because it's top secret. But uh, after when we stop rack, uh, <laughs> we can we can give <laughs> more. Yeah. You can tell more, more. Uh, okay, but uh, and uh, you have an, an idea for your next trip or uh, well, for with the COVID? Uh, I, yeah, this year is of course uh, kind of strange, special, I, I don't know. I was very, very lucky, I was invited in July to Pico Island in the Azores by Pico Sport and Van Wood and his, uh, his crew, great uh, crew. So. To, you know, diving with uh, blue sharks, with macro sharks, and with mobula rays, and we really had a, had a great time. The Azores were COVID free, so yeah. we had to make a test before, and the test when we were there, but it was uh, free of charge over there. So, and the islands are COVID free, which is a good thing, and you have not so many tourists. So, uh, is this good for the people who can get there? Yeah. They are not with the crowds. Yeah. So the diving was, was amazing, as it is in many areas right now. It's more difficult to get there and you have you always take a little bit of a risk. Do you get back made? You don't know what happens with the airlines or with the, the operators where it, but if you're going, if you're taking a risk, you always get more chances. So I was returning from the Azores, I have some editing work to do. And I was supposed to go to French Polynesia again for the whale season, but I think this is now too risky as France uh, high yeah. rates again. I don't know if uh, I'm not going to French Polynesia this year. And we'll see what autumn brings. Uh, my dry office, uh, a lot of work is waiting there, some editing work. Um, well, we have to create more awareness yeah, for the I, I remember, I have so many questions for to propose you, but uh, now when I see this is filming, I want to ask you what is the situation, the world, is that your 
top three, two, three situations, the dolphin. I remember one picture with the, when you have broken the sunshade of the of the yes. of the dog board with the shark, the tiger shark. But well, it's, what it's, is the two, three situation, the best uh, that you have life in the world? I, it's uh, difficult to say. I like, I really like uh, the interaction with big animals. So like dolphins or whales, like humpback whales, yeah, uh, I, I love that because see. I think it's easier to see the personality of the animal. Uh, but even when you diving with a clownfish and he's defending his anemone or a dental fish, when they are coming very close and they are very courageous and fight you away from, from. So there's also, I think there's like a personality going in this little fish. Yeah, but the uh, more big they are, the more strong, easier you can see this personality, I believe. So I love to dive with the dolphins, with the whales, with orcas in Norway. It's, it's just amazing. Your yeah. heart stands still more or less you forget to breathe. Or with the, when the dolphin is coming, it's doing like, and it's like, wow, I don't, I'm not a friend of touching. I would, I'm not touching yeah. these animals because I think also if you have this close encounter and you're swimming close to a dolphin and it's really giving you the blink, there's something going on. You feel something and this is like more strong than any touch. This yeah. touching is like babies, they run after chicken, they want to catch the chicken. Yeah. But if you mentally connect to an animal, this is much, much stronger. Yeah. And yeah, it's, a, it's a difference. If a fish runs away, you just get the picture of the tail. If you go slow and you're start silently communicating with yeah, the fish, yeah, yeah. you can get closer without using a zoom or something. Yeah, of course, anyway, the farther you away, if you use a zoom, the water column is compressed and you have like, it's getting yeah. not clear. You so, go more near with the sun. Yeah, no, so yeah. I, I, the big mammals, whales, dolphins, orcas, but also sharks. I mean, like, uh, I was having these great white sharks in the, in the cage, I have to say. Yeah, they are massive. They're just like, it's impressive. And sometimes they are really playful, like cats. We had like, a, you know, tuna head hanging there and the guy was pulling up the head and the, the shark was, you see it on my video somewhere you find on my YouTube channel, was trying to catch the, the, the head and he was pulling it like you play with a cat with a little ball. And then he was playing, yeah? It was not like he, he was not getting upset. In the end, you have to, give this food to the shark, not to make him upset, right? Yeah. But you also have like this with, uh, with smaller sharks, like tiger sharks. They're not, they're not really small, wow. but this is where the, the tiger shark uh, bumped my, yeah, my, my sunshade and it broke. Yeah, it's, it, you know, they don't have hands to figure what is this. They go with the nose. They just want to find out what we are. They're not, they don't want to aggress us. They just want to find out. So this is, uh, it can be sometimes rough, but when you with a camera, you just push it a little bit. You don't bump, but you just yeah, yeah, yeah. push it away, and then they swim away. They uh, realize yeah. that um, yeah. And also the smaller sharks. Yeah? On my last trip, there was a guy who was saying, he was speaking about the white tip shark. So this lagoon shark was a white tip. Ah, he was saying, oh, this is not a shark. And I was saying, what are you talking about? I mean, like a smaller guy is not a human. What are you talking? This little shark is a beautiful animal. It's a shark, and it's uh, you don't need always to have a tiny yeah. shark. It's beautiful, and if you observe them, there is always like in something interesting to just discover. So I like also to you know when the white tip shark very often they're in cave and they just they yeah. actively they can breathe. Huh? Those yeah, they yeah, come yeah, water through see. their gills. Not all the sharks can do that, but they, these yeah. sharks can do that. So. And you get closer again, you go closer, step, step, step by step, and then you get a really yeah, nice yeah, image, yeah. yeah? So you have to work to get this nice image. Yeah, yeah, Other yeah. sharks which are swimming free, you can feed them, you can make some noise, they're coming sometimes, but also, yeah, it's beautiful, it's just the interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, important is the interaction, and that I can concentrate on the marine fauna, and it's easy to work with my camera. So that's the most important thing, that it's not disturbing, yeah. that it's just like integrating uh, in the and, whole process. And uh, if you, 
we have a lot of followers that we say you use Sony, use Panasonic, but uh, if you must give two or three uh, suggests uh, of uh, what lens you prefer, of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, what suggest you can give to the video maker for, for, uh, for take the very nice video on the world, uh, you know, relax, uh, say in the theater, or uh, lens is more important. What well, this, this depends, of course, very much on what is your main subject. If yeah. you're diving in the Mediterranean Sea or in Indonesia, in Raja Ampat, and you're or in Indonesia somewhere else, or the Philippines, and you're it's making money, you of course need a the tripod, tripod, the landmark. Yeah, I'm trying not to use tripod oh. because the reef is so fragile that yeah. you have already three legs. You can. You know where you put one, but the other two are often. So I try not. Yeah. But also my main subject are bigger animals, so the wider, the better, and then you go closer. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So I have the, 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 the Panasonic, and mainly I'm diving with the what is it? Eight, 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 eighteen. Eight, eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's what I'm usually diving with. You can zoom a little bit in when you're getting close to something, but I really, really, really use it. Um, for me, it's like big things, the wider the better. It's always also for a night beauty shots, so to speak, like sceneries underwater, scenic shots. The wider the better, you're catching more light. The water looks more clear if you're having a wide angle than a, a narrow angle. So I'm really a fan of the wide angle uh, photography or videography. It's showing more the beauty. But if this is all shot also, it's not with a zoom, it's a, it's a wide angle lens. Yeah, yeah. So wow. you have to get a bit closer, it's more difficult to use like a metal stick to stabilize yourself and uh, that's it. Um, yeah, use lights. I use the big ones and the small ones. I'm always um, yeah, the most fan, fan of the smaller I ones. I think that depends what well, this, if you are in the, in the Philippines, you can use also the small one because you are near, no? The good ones are really nice for scenic shots when you have the reef and you have the sun in the background to illuminate the foreground and you have the backlight so that the lights are stronger or as, at least almost as strong as the sun. Yeah. And uh, now they have 22,000 lumens. Yeah, 21. 21,000. 21, yeah. And you can compete underwater with the sun. Right. So this is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. good, of course, a beautiful, beautiful yeah. shot you can. Okay, and the last question is, uh, you have explained when you have started to, 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 to your... Uh, my career, what, my yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, but two, three location of your, uh, that you are in, of, that you suggest to every cast, every, every diver, because uh, are in your top uh, idea. But, this is, this is, this is, this depends on the budget. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I was so lucky that I was had got the chance to live in French Polynesia in Tahiti, wow. and I still have friends there, and I visit them regularly. So my costs of traveling there are less high than for other people. But these are my this is my favorite area, the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. I was also living in the Yap Island in Micronesia. I was working there for one year with a. Uh, Monterey Bay Hotel and Yacht Divers. Monterey is also sharks and also, there you have a mix, uh, it's very nice. You have uh, cleaning stations of manta rays in quite shallow water, but you also have a spot where they feed the gray reef sharks uh, outside of uh, the, the lagoon at the ocean side. And you also have like macro stuff. Yeah, it's uh, this part of the Pacific where you also have macro life. Which is very interesting. So this wow. is a nice stop. Uh, First, spot. French Polynesia, second one. It's Micronesia, where where I was living is Yap Island, also for the culture, beautiful, unique, and uh, it's close to Palau. People know Palau. Yeah, they have heard about Yap and they have heard about Palau. But you know, yeah. I was more a warm water diver. But the first time I was going to Norway in 2016. 17 and I loved it. 
Yeah, I saw yeah, it was disgusting. It was baby. freezing, but you yeah. know, being in the water with the in dark water with the, the ocean, yes. it's an amazing experience. Yeah. So I love also that. Uh, Indonesia, I like Indonesia. Uh, like Majampa, of course, everybody knows this place and it's beautiful. It's also different. Uh, yeah, 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 locations yeah. Uh, for spots for for all the world, all the world is nice. for turtles yeah. for sharks uh, manta rays but also the volcanoes and uh, uh, reef life and so on and so on so it all you know it's like with everything in life look for the positive side of it and you will not be disappointed if you go with a very strict idea of something. Yeah. If you buy something with a very strict idea, if you're going to a hotel with a very strict idea, then you very often get it disappointed. Yeah. Because they cannot, you know, catch up with your expectations, uh, locations yeah, exactly. or whatever. So be open and try to find the positive thing in everything. Even if, uh, you know, one day, one dive is not like the other. One yeah, day yeah, is yeah. like this. And even if you are on the same day, on the same dive in two groups, People have different experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure. the, the one group is like, wow, we have seen this and that and blah, 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 and the others haven't. Even if they haven't. I am in the second group. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. When I go yeah. down, I am in the second group. We go, what? The shop. What? I don't see it. Yeah, well. Okay. Yeah, so oh, Peter, I think so. About how many down? 30 minutes. Wow. Okay, I think it's uh, okay for, for this time. I am really happy that Peter come to visit us. Yeah. I hope uh, uh, I wait the, your next image with our new light and you, uh, when you are to the next trip, uh, uh, realize little short videos that we, you expa explain your experience with the new light. I will. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, also, not only for us, but also for every our follower. And uh, thank you so much, Peter. And for everybody, uh, continues to follow us on our Facebook page, Instagram, uh, website, and also other one account for seeing the video of Peter. And uh, see you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.